Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll be showing you the steps on how you can fix Valorant not responding or not launching problem or error on your PC. In order to do this, first thing first, make sure that the device is connected to an internet service and also make sure to stick with us till the end of this video. First of all, what you need to do is tap on the search and then type in task manager. So before you start with this procedure, make sure that you've completely closed your Valorant. After you've closed your application, your application might be running on your background. So from here, what you need to do is you need to search for the Valorant and then you need to close it or you need to end the task. And let's say that if you find Valorant right over here, then all you need to do is right click on your mouse and click on end task, which is right over here. After you click on it, the background app will be closed in. And this is one of the method on how you can fix your Valorant not launching issue on your device. After you've completed this procedure, you need to head to the same page or home page and then try opening your Valorant application and this might be equal to fix your issue. This does not seem to be helping, then what else you can do is simply head over to your settings, tap on the search bar or type in settings. Once you're on the settings page, tap on display in the right hand side bar and on the display as well, you'll be able to see multiple options available and head over to the section that is scale and layout. Now under scale and layout, click on scale or just tap on the arrow icon right in the corner and after you click on it now on this interface what you need to do is you need to click on this arrow icon make sure that the scale is selected on recommended once this procedure is done now what you need to do is you need to scroll down a bit and then click on graphic if you're unable to find this option right over here then you can simply tap on the search bar in the upper left corner of your screen and then type in graphic after you've selected graphic now on this interface you need to look for valorant once again if you're unable to find the valorant then what you can do is you can simply tap on browse which is right on top after that select the drive where i've actually installed the game in my case i've installed it on my d drive so click on it and then select the folder after you select the folder open it up and as you can see you'll be able to see the valorant option right over here now you'll be able to see the software right over here so after that once you've opened it up click on the option button and after that a pop-up will appear right in front of your screen this is the graphic preferences now you'll need to select the graphic preferences so that includes selecting high performance after you've done this click on the save button right at the bottom and after that try restarting your device and launch your valorant application and this might be able to fix your issue now the other method what you can do is you can simply head over to your home screen and then on the search box type in valorant after that right click on the valorant and then click on open file location so once again you need to right click on the valorant and then click on open file location after that, click on Roy Client Service, right click on the mouse and click on Properties. As soon as you click on Properties, a pop-up will appear right in front of your screen. And after that, select Compatibility. After you've done that, head over to the Settings section. And right on this page, you need to make sure that you've selected Run this program as an administrator and click on the Apply button. After doing this, you might be able to fix the issue. If you're still unable to fix it, then you can check your internet connection as well. Head over to your settings and then check whether you're connected to an internet service or not. Uh, once you're on the settings page, click on network and internet that you have a stable internet connection and also make sure to turn off your VPN if you're using any and you might be able to fix the issue. That is all for this video. I hope the video was helpful. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.